After a week off, it's once again time for Minnesota Vikings football. The Vikings, well rested and confident with a 5-1 record, are set to take on the 3-4 Cardinals at U.S. Bank Stadium. It'll be a special day in Minneapolis, as legendary defensive end Jared Allen will officially be inducted into the Vikings Ring of Honor. Kevin O'Connell's team, which has won four consecutive one-possession games, will try to stretch its winning streak to five. When the Vikings have the ball, interior pass protection will be important against the Cardinals' defensive line led by J.J. Watt and Zach Allen. If Kirk Cousins has time, he should be able to hit Justin Jefferson and his other weapons against the poor Arizona secondary. When the Cardinals have the ball, the Vikings will need to find ways to keep Kyler Murray from scrambling all over the place. They also need to be very aware of Cardinals number one receiver DeAndre Hopkins, who will be Murray's first read much of the time. The Vikings have a clean bill of health entering this game, with DL Jonathan Bullard, illness, as the lone exception. Pass out, which should mean more snaps for Ross Blacklock and James Lynch. Kyra Stanka is also active. The Cardinals will be without their entire starting left side of the offensive line, D. J. Humphreys, Max Garcia, and Rodney Hudson. They're also missing Air Bay James Conner and Pound Dennis Gardeck. Here's how to watch, listen to, or stream the game. Follow along below for live updates, and follow me on Twitter for additional updates, analysis, and highlights from inside the stadium. Final score. Vikings 34, Cardinals 26 live updates below 4th quarter Vikings 34, Cardinals 268-36, Cousins hits KJ Osborne for a touchdown, but Greg Joseph's extra point hits the upright with a chance to put the Vikings up 2 scores. 10-46, the Vikings go 3 and out, but get a huge break when TH. Vikings 28. Cardinals 2612-32, Kyler Murray drops the shotgun snap on third down, forcing the Cardinals to settle for a short field goal. Third quarter 0 -0. after an Isaiah Simmons strip sack, the Cardinals will go into the fourth quarter just outside of the red zone, with a chance to take the lead back.